Nigeria will rise again, I believe. But for Nigeria to rise again, I want you to listen to this simple experience that I had. This fatal day, we needed to get a deworm drug for my son. And in the environment where I lived, I started going from one chemist to the other. And I was shocked. Every chemist that I entered did not have the particular drug I was looking for. How much was it? It was just 200 naira. In fact, most of the chemists that I entered, if I should calculate the drugs in their store together, it's no more than 20 or 30,000. And I was shocked that, that families lived on it. Now, while I was going around too, I saw 30 traders selling, you know, and I took time to evaluate as well most of what they said. Do you know that the capital of so many of them was not more than 20,000? And you will see most of them run to microfinance bank, get little resources, turn it over, return the amount borrowed, and still live on the little profit they gave. Now, and I started saying to myself, for Nigeria to rise again, we have a lot to do. Now, while I was thinking of that, do you know that over the, uh, the internet, I saw one of our senators and he, what was he doing? He was showing his cars, his suite of cars. He had several cars in his garage. He would open one and tell us the year he bought it. He would open the other one and I asked myself, now putting all the cars this senator had in his garage together it was going to billions of naira do you know that when you are ganivante showing your fleet of cars some families do not need more than fifty thousand naira to set up a business that they will not need to beg from anybody again to live their life on now what do i want to say for Nigeria to arise, it is time for we Nigerians to begin to empower our, our citizens. I have done that for some people that have met around me. In fact, there are some people that came to me asking for capital for business. By the grace of God, I was able to give assistance in the little way I could. In fact, some, when they really touched me, I asked this woman, how much she needed. I was thinking in my mind that she would ask for something very large. She said, sir, if I could get 25,000 naira, sir, I will not need to beg again. I asked her if she was sure. She said she was. I gave her the 25,000. And do you know that she went, got her goods, and has been doing business since then. Now, I met another one. I was driving along the express. Now, this guy sold, was selling CDs during traffic. I was shocked when I saw him. It was, it was somebody I knew, so I invited him to come see me in the office. So when he came, I asked him his challenge. He said, sir, if I could get 5,000 naira to get CDs and add to my business, so I'll be very comfortable. I wrote a check of 10,000 naira and I gave him. Do you know that that 10,000 Naira helped him to become a more better person in his business? There is nothing you start to gain where you continue to hide owning bags, buying cars that you cannot ride or that you will not need. When people around you are coming around you seeking for health, I discovered this about some rich Nigerians. They would rather prefer to give you one or two cups of rice than for them to invest in your dreams. For Nigeria to rise again, hear me. Let every blessed Nigerian 
begin to invest in the those you see struggling but are very hard working now what such people need is not much it's just a need to support and you see them bounce back again let's start it together and i'm tuned out to write this again let us begin to invest it in our citizens let's take our pledge i pledge to enjoy my country to be faithful lawyer and honest to serve nigeria with all my strength to defend high unity and to uphold our honor and the glory so help me god